Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, I'm doing a full face get ready with me. I'm playing with some new makeup. I'm playing with some old favorites. I love the look I created. It's just so bold and bright. I love this so much. Before we get into the get ready with me though, I did want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative and curious people. There are thousands of classes for you to explore. Whether you're trying to develop a new skill or deepen your existing passions, there is something for you. There are thousands of classes, anything from culinary to photography to illustration to journaling to productivity. There is a class for everybody. The class that I have currently been enjoying is is cookie decorating for beginners create incredible edible art by Lori Shannon aka the icing artist I stumbled upon this class a couple months ago and I put it in my save for later because I was like you know what once the holidays roll around cookie decorating season that class is gonna come in handy and it's been really helpful I haven't gotten around to actually decorating cookies yet but it's given me a lot of helpful tips when it comes time for me to decorate some cookies later on and honestly she goes into a lot of different things that I've never even heard of I don't know anything about cookie decorating so this was a really good intro class and I felt like I learned some new things and I'm really excited to create some really pretty cookies because it's one thing to just bake the cookies I feel like it's another to eat a really pretty well decorated cookie and I'm really excited about it Skillshare is specifically curated for learning so you are not going to worry about any ads you can just continue on watching to your heart's desire and Skillshare is amazing because it's less than ten dollars a month for an annual subscription the first 1,000 of you to click the link in my description box will receive a one month free trial to the premium membership I'm so excited for you to get in and learn some new things again there are so many classes literally if you can think of it there is definitely a class for you on Skillshare Skillshare thank you so much for partnering with me on this video before we get into the get ready with me I I just quickly want to give you my jewelry details. I just have plugs today. They're from Love Kills Boutique. Um, yeah, without further ado, I guess we can hop in, create this full face look. Let's get into it. Hello, hello. I just got off work and I thought we'd do a little get ready with me. Zane and I are going to dinner with his parents tonight. Not that it's anything fancy. I could 100% show up like this, but I thought it'd be a good time to just go ahead and film. I haven't done a get ready with me in a little while. I wanna play with my Likely Makeup palette. I wanna play with my new Fenty bronzer, which I've been playing with it, but I haven't played with it on camera yet. Uh, I wanna play with one of my Terra Moon shadows. I have a new lipstick from Melt. I have some things I wanna try. Oh, I have my blushes from Melt. I got two of the cream blushes, and I'm very excited. So, we're gonna do that. I did already prime with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, and we're just gonna get into it. If I happen to forget to mention something throughout this, it'll all be linked down below, of course, as always. Let's just do it. For foundation, I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Tinted Hydromaniac Stay Glow Hydrator. Mine is in the shade 20. Just doing a little bloop right here. And then I'm just gonna do a little pump of moisturizer. This is just the one I have sitting here. It's the e.l.f. CBD one, but it doesn't really matter. I just do a little pump just to sheer it out a little bit more because I don't really like a lot of coverage. How are you doing? How is your December going? It's only the fourth as of right now, but I'm already just so slammed. I feel like December has already felt longer than November and we're only a couple days in. I'm just real busy, you know? November was busy also because I was trying to prep a little bit for December and the salon was also busy just because of Thanksgiving. But December, December's on another level. I am so slammed in the salon, which I'm so grateful for. It's like the closest thing you can get to job security in my industry is to be super booked out. So that is lovely. And for those of you who don't know, I do work for myself. I have my own salon studio, so it's all on me. If I don't like bring in my own people, I don't have people and then I don't have money to pay bills. So I'm very excited. And then I'm also just really busy with YouTube stuff because uploading every day until Christmas is a lot of work. And we actually do have a small trip with Zane's family this month as well, so I'm trying to prep for that because we'll be gone for a couple days. We're going to New York and I'm so excited. We've been in New York quite a few times at this point. I think this will be our fourth time going to New York and we've been during Christmas time before. We spent like two weeks there back in 2018. That's actually when we got engaged. We got engaged first night in a cat cafe. <laughs> I have a vlog from that New York trip if you want to check it out. It's from years ago. But the whole engagement is on there and everything. It's very cute. I think we might actually try to go to that cat cafe while we're there because it's almost the three year anniversary since we got engaged. So it might be fun to do. I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Concealer. I am scraping the edges of this. 
Mine is in the shade 130 N. I'm so excited for this month as well because my best friend Mackenzie, she is coming into town to visit for a couple weeks. And I can't wait to see her. She lives in Montana now and I miss her so much. I've only seen her once since she moved away almost two years ago. And I just love her with my whole heart. I miss her so bad and I can't wait to spend time with her. She's actually getting into town the day after we leave for New York, but she actually is gonna just stay at my house and watch the cats because she wanted a place to just hang out and be able to just be alone when she doesn't wanna be around people and watch the cats for us, so. I'm excited, she'll just be here when we get back. Basically for me, the first two weeks of the month are just gonna be working literally nonstop. <laughs> and then I'll have a little bit of play and then some more work, but then some more play. It's also why I'm trying to get extra prepared so I don't have to film and edit too much when I'm here with Mackenzie so we can just have time to be with each other. All right, setting powder. I'm gonna use my Milk Makeup Blur one. I'm so salty that they are discontinuing this. I don't even think it's on their website anymore. Like I think it's gone and I don't know why they would do that. It's literally the perfect powder. I hope that just means that they're gonna come out with an even better powder in the future. What are your favorite like cheesy Hallmark movies? Like cheesiest of cheese. I would love to know because I really wanna watch just a bunch of cheesy Hallmark movies. Like when I'm going to bed and stuff. Cause it's like the only time I have to watch movies right now. <laughs> oh, in my little bit of free time, I've been playing the new Animal Crossing DLC called like Happy Home something, something or other. I don't remember what it's called, but basically you go to another island and you're building vacation homes for little villagers and you get to decorate their space depending on what their theme is. And I've been having so much fun with it. It is so peaceful to do. As you get through it more, you can start creating like little facilities. For instance, I created a school, I created a cafe, I created a restaurant, and that's as far as I've gotten so far. I don't know what else there is as of right now, but it's so cute and so relaxing. I'm using my NYX High Glass Finishing Powder now. And I am so beyond excited for the new Spider-Man that comes out when we're in New York. And we already have tickets to see it because we have to see it when it releases. I think we're seeing it in like the middle of the day. <laughs> we have like a 12 o'clock showing or something like that. And I'm so pumped. Spider-Man is like my favorite. I know that's so basic, but it, it just is. Spider-Man's been my favorite ever since Tobey Maguire. I love the Andrew Garfield ones and I love the Tom Holland ones. They're all wonderful Spider-Mans. Spider-Men? Spider-Man in their own way, <laughs> but I do like Tom Holland the most. I think he's just so cute and quirky. All right, my Fenty bronzer, the Into Sun bronzer. I've really been enjoying this. This one has pretty much replaced my Bali Sands one from Becca. It doesn't have as much of like a sheeny glow that the Becca one did, but this one's really, really nice. I like the color a lot. It's a very nice, just soft tone for my pale ghostly skin. <laughs> Did you get anything good for Black Friday? I feel like that'll be such old news by the time this video goes up, but it's still kind of current for me. Black Friday was only a week ago as I'm filming this. Do you just see how pretty that is? I just love this bronzer. It's so soft and it's not too much, which I enjoy. I don't like a bronzer that's like too pigmented or too warm or too anything. I just, this looks really nice to me. Oh man, I forgot the blush I was gonna use it was gonna be a cream. Oh well, I guess we're about to find out how well the cream blushes from Melt layer over powder. Whoopsie. I bought the shades Sundown and Polish. I think I'm gonna use Polish. I'm tempted to use Sundown, but Polished is literally the one I've had on my wish list the longest. I just last minute decided to throw that one in the cart. Melt was having a pretty good Black Friday sale. That's why I got a couple things. I got a few liquid lipsticks. I got these two blushes. I got a regular lipstick. I'm excited. Oh, this color is cute. By the way, I'm using that little uh, base blue cosmetics ghost sponge. So look how funny he looks with blush on his head. We started watching the new Hawkeye as well. At this moment, only three episodes are out and it's so good. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, that's beautiful. And that's actually layering over my powders like flawlessly. I can't even tell. Sometimes it bunches up weird, but that looks absolutely flawless. So far the hype is real with these blushes. I see why everyone was Losing their mind over them. This is beautiful. Ooh, why have I not tried these sooner? I'm mad at myself. Good gracious, Betty Jean. What am I gonna learn? I need to stop sleeping on melt products because every melt product I've tried becomes like an absolute favorite. And this is no exception. That is freaking lovely. 
I love it. All right, fake freckles. Taking my Freck XL, of course. I might make another Sephora purchase, actually, since they're randomly doing that 20% off again, which might be over by the time this video goes up. I think it's ending on like the 12th. But I think I'm gonna wait until the 10th to place an order because I literally just saw Trend Mood post um, the new Fenty liquid highlight and that white liquid highlight looks beautiful. It looks like the liquid version of how many carrots. It looks like it's just very soft and white and translucent -y but sparkly. I need to like see more pictures of it, I think, but as of right now, I am sold. So I might try picking that up for 20% off. Just kind of doing just a few freckles. I've kind of been enjoying just doing like a few little statement freckles like this and then just kind of tapping them out. Can we talk about how I can kind of cram my hair into a bun now? That's exciting news. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my beauty sponge actually and just very, very lightly just kind of stamp over it. I'm using barely any pressure. I'm gonna do the one right here last because I like that little fake beauty mark to look prominent and dark like my natural beauty marks. And he's got a polka dotted pink head. <laughs> So while that guy is sitting, I'll show you which highlight I'm gonna use today. I wanna use a Bitter Lace Beauty one in Watermelon Whip. I've been doing my declutter series. It might be over by the time this video goes up, actually. Actually, I'm pretty certain that my whole declutter series should be over by the time this video goes up. But I've already filmed all of it except for my eyeshadow palettes. And in doing my highlight one, I realized I forgot to show my Bitter Lace Beauty ones and it inspired me to wanna to use my Bitter Lace Beauty ones. So I'm using Watermelon Whip today. Just a little sparkly pinky wonderfulness. And these still smell like candy, even though I got these in like February of 2020. Pre-pandemic is when I got these. And they still smell like candy. Oh, look how beautiful. I just realized I might be in New York City by the time this video goes up too. That are leaving very, very soon after, but I think I might actually be there by the time this video goes up. So if you have any suggestions on things that you like to do as just like, a local, not so much a tourist, because we've been so many times. We've done all the touristy things. I want to do like, I want to find the cool hidden gems, you know? I want to find cool restaurants and things like that, specifically vegan restaurants. I love finding cool vegan restaurants in new cities. I'm just a vegetarian, so it doesn't have to be vegan, just vegetarian friendly, but I like finding unique vegan spots. I'm going to spray my face now with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Setting Spray, and then we will move on to the eyes. I'm obsessed with this whole blush and highlight situation. I feel like my skin just looks very smooth and glowy right now. All right, I'm gonna prime my eyes with the ColourPop Party Proof Eye Primer. And switching between this one and my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. Kind of like weekly, like last week I was really into the Hydro Grip, this week I've been into the Party Proof. So I'm gonna be using my Ugly Palette from Likely Makeup. I love this. I've already done a first impressions video and I posted an Instagram video um, and I thought I'd use it again today. I kind of just wanna play with like the red, orange, and yellow because those are the shades that I haven't really focused on yet. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do red, blend it out with orange, and then continue blending it out with yellow. And with that, I'm gonna use my Blend Bunny Cosmetics brushes. I'm gonna use the B3, 4, and 5 just to get a nice blend. I've been obsessed with these. I literally ordered two more sets after she sent me the first one because they are fantastic. All right, going in with the red. Ooh, this mirror that I'm holding is dirty. I literally can't see through it. I get makeup on everything. If you only knew how dirty my workstation gets. Ooh, this red is beautiful. I can't believe 2021 is almost over. It is blowing my mind. To me, it still feels like Halloween was literally yesterday. I can't be convinced that the end of the year is almost here. I'm excited though. We'll see how 2022 goes. I'm not gonna delve too much into like my hopes and dreams because I think I'll do a New Year's get ready with me to chat about that, but wow. I just can't believe it. And I can't believe how beautiful that red is, my goodness. All right, now that I'm at this point, I'm gonna take my B2 brush. I use B3 for the red. I'm gonna dip into that orange now and just start kind of blending a little, a little veil of orange around the outside edges of this red. Oh, I'm excited about this. And I'm really excited about the lid shade that I'm gonna use with this. I'm gonna use one of my Terra Moon shadows. I feel like this eye look is getting a little more dramatic than I initially intended, but you know, sometimes that's just how it happens. And you know, I'm wearing glasses tonight anyway, so. The more dramatic, the better, so it can show through. I get asked on occasion, like more frequently than I would expect, honestly, but to like talk about how to wear makeup with glasses, 
Literally, I just wear whatever makeup I wanna wear and I don't think about if I'm wearing glasses that day or not. I mean, in my opinion, if you really want it to show up, like bolder is better so that it shows behind your glasses more, but it doesn't like really matter, you know? Ooh, this is intense. That red, very pigmented. Not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. Last, I'm just gonna take my B1 Blend Bunny brush with the yellow to do just kind of the same thing. Just kind of top her off. I have used this yellow and it's very cute. I feel like my eyes just look like ketchup and mustard right now. Hopefully it comes together when I have my lid shade on. These colors are just so saturated, but they really do blend out so nicely. All right, here I am. I'm feeling like a bird of paradise or something and I love it. All right, going in with my NYX glitter primer, of course, because, say it with me, I use it with every shimmer ever. I'm just gonna use this little alter ego, like, flat-ish packing brush. I'm not really worried about doing a cut crease or anything like that today. I just wanted a very blended, vibrant eye today. I don't know. It's just feeling very colorful. And the Terra Moon shadow I'm gonna use is Bonfire. It's like this beautiful kind of gold and pink duochrome, and I thought it would look really pretty with these crease colors. And again, I've been doing my declutter series. Uh, I already filmed my single eyeshadow one, and it really inspired me to use some of my Terra Moons ones specifically. They are so beautiful. This particular one was a gift from one of my friends, Jenny. She gave me a bunch of her old Terra Moons ones that she just wasn't really using. And I was like, yes, please, and thank you. Oh, that is gorgeous. I'm just gonna take the brush I used with the yellow, but I'm wiping it off so it's not yellow. <laughs> and I'll just very lightly go along these edges just to make sure that they are soft and ready to go. I love this, quite the summery eye look for the beginning of December, <laughs> but I love it. It's just very warm and yummy. And at this point, I'm going to figure out what eye pencil I wanna use, throw on my lashes, use one of my lipsticks. I'm thinking I might use this one that I bought. It's the only regular lipstick, 710. Although I don't know if that really goes with this look. It's a little not the vibe for that. I don't know what I'm gonna use. I'll figure it out and I'll get back with you. All right, this is my completed look. I think it came out so pretty. I did end up using my Watermelon Whip as my inner corner highlight because I forgot to do that. Um, my eye pencil I went with is Sista's from the ColourPop Hocus Pocus collection. My lashes are Juliet from Noella Lashes. I did extend my inner corner a little bit. Like I kind of did like that little just teeny tiny little angle right there just to make my inner corner look nice and cute and pointy. Um, and on my lips, I wasn't sure what I wanted to use because I wanted to use one of my new ones, but none of them really fit the vibe. And I was worried this dark brown one called Ebony wouldn't fit, but I think it actually does. I love the tone of it. This is by far the darkest brown that I own in my collection. It's like almost black, but it's still brown and chocolatey and very rich and very cool. It's not a warm chocolatey brown, it's more of a cool brown. I really like it and I didn't think it would go with this look. I think it really does, I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't be for you, but I like it. I, I am a fan of a bold lip with a bold eye. There is no rule that says you can't do that. So yeah, this is my look, I hope you enjoy it. Let me zoom out and we will finish up this video. All right, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you love my look. I love this look, I think it is so pretty. I feel like someone's gonna ask, because I did mention that I'm gonna be wearing glasses today. Um, they're my clear frame, you can't tell. They're my clear frame hard eyes glasses from I Buy Direct. Very cute, very bold, and I love it. So yeah, just in case you needed to see the glasses view of this look. Another reminder to you guys that the first 1,000 of you to click the link in my description box will receive a one month free trial to Skillshare's membership. And a huge thank you again to Skillshare for partnering with me on this video. I would love to hear your thoughts on the products that I talked about today. Have you tried any of them yourself? Do you wanna try any of them? I would love to hear your thoughts down below. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me a zebra emoji because I'm like a colorful zebra today. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything. I post every day on Instagram and I'm pretty active on TikTok and Twitter as well. And if you want, you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I'm posting every single day up until Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.